People in Barrio Logan have had enough tonight and are letting the city of San Diego know they are tired of being ignored. At a meeting tonight, they talked about poor, dangerous conditions at Memorial Community Park and about traffic safety issues. They say it's all a matter of inequity. As CBS 8's Regina Yurita reports, they're tired of being left in the dark. I was at Memorial Community Park two weeks ago, and at that time, all 10 light posts were not operating. But tonight, we have almost all of them working, and we even have some sports leagues playing after sunset. But families still made sure the city recognizes their frustration over the slow response to fix them. So we just hope that it doesn't take another five years. Coaches and families attended a Logan Heights Parks and Rec meeting to let the city know their discontent for what they call a decades long battle of inequity. And I guess we're not a priority. Coach Francisco Ortiz and his youth soccer team have had to deal with lighting issues at Memorial Community Park for the past six weeks. Lipo said the park remained inoperable after a breaker malfunction left fields dark after sunset, forcing the team to change hours or risk playing in the dark. But Ortiz says the issues keep adding up and having no repairs makes problems even worse. So I'm limited to what I have. I have three fields now, one, two, three. And uh, the issue right now is that, see how the water, they're watering? Yeah. See how it gets muddy. Ortiz and other locals say the lights are part of the issue. The other is the city's slow response to repair dilapidated parks, which is why families address the issues at the Parks and Recreation meeting. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, uh, keep going. With so many issues still waiting to get repaired, this has also brought attention to a larger issue that needs to be resolved. Disparities in spending and neglected underserved neighborhoods. I see it a lot more here in this area because, I mean, you step out of this area of, you know, uh, 8 North and all that stuff and it's lit up very nice. During the meeting, families also advise other locals to show their support by becoming involved. Like we need to make noise. Me and you complaining is not going to stop me. Me and you and the rest of the community. District 8 City Councilwoman Vivian Moreno did not attend the special meeting, but a representative from her team was there to inform families that the concerns will be shared with city officials. With that in mind, we sent the memo to the mayor saying... But families still fear the issues happening in their community could continue and worry repairs will take another five years. Moreno's spokesperson also announced during the meeting that funds will be allotted to help with streetlights and traffic signals. In Logan Heights, for CBS 8, I'm Regina Urita.